Hyperuricemia is a condition with elevated levels of uric acid in the blood. Uric acid is a product of the degradation of purine nucleotides in the body. Purine nucleotides are formed in two pathways. One of them is the so-called de novo pathway. The synthesis begins from ribose 5-phosphate generated by the pentose phosphate pathway. The enzyme phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthesis activates ribose 5-phosphate with ATP to phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate. The second enzyme is glutamine phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate amidotransferase. It catalyzes the replacement of pyrophosphate by the amide nitrogen of glutamine. The product of this reaction is phosphoribosyl amine. In the next stages of synthesis, inosine monophosphate is gradually formed and from it, the other two purine nucleotides, adenosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate, are produced. The enzyme catalyzing the committed step in the de novo pathway is glutamine phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate amidotransferase. This enzyme is allosterically inhibited by the end product, the nucleotides formed. Thus, the rate of purine nucleotide synthesis is controlled by their own levels. When they are sufficient, the synthesis is inhibited. Besides, this enzyme is allosterically activated by its substrate, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate or PRPP. Binding of PRPP causes a conformational change of the enzyme that increases enzyme activity. The rate of synthesis increases and higher amounts of purine nucleotides are produced. The other regulatory enzyme is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthesis. It too is allosterically inhibited by the end product, the purine nucleotides. An alternative pathway to synthesize purine nucleotides is the so-called salvage pathway. It consists of two reactions. In one of them, guanine, as well as hypoxanthine, interact with phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate catalyzed by a phosphoribosyl transferase. One and the same enzyme catalyzes the conversion of guanine and hypoxanthine to the respective nucleotides. The first step in the degradation of the nucleotides is their hydrolysis to nucleosides catalyzed by nucleotidases and nonspecific phosphatases. Adenosine, under the action of adenosine deaminase, undergoes deamination and is converted to inosine. Purine nucleoside phosphorylases convert inosine and guanosine into the respective purine bases, hypoxanthine and guanine. Hypoxanthine is oxidized to xanthine by xanthine oxidase, and guanine is deaminated to xanthine. Xanthine is further oxidized by the same xanthine oxidase to uric acid, the end product of purine nucleotides degradation in humans. Uric acid is excreted in the urine. Higher levels of uric acid in the blood is a disorder called hyperuricemia. In some cases, hyperuricemia leads to gout. The causes of hyperuricemia may be different. Here, we shall present some enzymopathies in the purine nucleotides metabolism. One of the causes is an increased activity of the first enzyme, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthetase. This is usually due to mutations in the gene encoding this enzyme, and that is expressed in an increased activity of the enzyme towards the substrate ribose 5-phosphate. Michaeli's constant is decreased in some patients. Maximum velocity is increased in others. This leads to increased synthesis of nucleotides, and as a result, more uric acid is produced when they are degraded. Another reason for hyperuricemia can be the loss of allosteric sensitivity of the key regulatory enzyme glutamine phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate amidotransferase towards the end product. The mutated allosteric center becomes insensitive to the end product, the purine nucleotides. The enzyme is not inhibited and stays active even though the nucleotides are sufficient or in excess. The amount of purine nucleotides increases, which is a reason for producing more uric acid.
A third possible reason is the decreased activity of the enzyme guanine hypoxanthine phosphoribozyl transferase in the salvage pathway. Phosphoribozyl pyrophosphate is not utilized. It builds up and stimulates the de novo pathway. More purine nucleotides are synthesized and from them more uric acid is produced. Complete deficiency of guanine hypoxanthine phosphoribozyl transferase causes the Lesch-Nihon syndrome. It is a still more serious disorder associated not only with gout but also with neurological problems, mental retardation, aggressiveness, and self-mutilation. Hyperuricemia is determined by Follin's test. Blood serum of uric acid solution is catalyzed with 5 to 10 drops of sodium hydroxide and then phosphotungstic reagent is added. The appearance of blue color proves the presence of uric acid. This is a redox reaction. The exact uric acid concentration is determined spectrophotometrically.